All right, guys, out here with our hide, gonna get some smoking action going on with it. I just built this little stove here out of an old paint thinner bucket. Cut the inside out here with a little excess hole. Old piece of stove pipe there. Got it going up. Right here's our hide. I just got it stapled up all the way across here. Best we could get it, seal it up. See if I can see some staples here. Staples in it all the way around it. Basically like a pillowcase. Got a hole here I sewed up. A couple clothes pins right there just to seal it up. Right here on the neck, I just got an old piece of blue jean leg. Stapled it around. And then I got that blue jean leg right there. Just on top of this stove pipe with a piece of rope tying it on. And we're going to smoke our hide this way. I'm going to put some clay around this rim here because it's going to leak. I already know that. Just got some old red clay right here. So I'm gonna break it up around it. Kind of pack it in around that seam right there. Somewhat of a seal, I guess. I don't know how good you can see in there with all the smoke. But I just got a little bit of coals in there, like a tablespoon of coals. Bunch of dry punk wood on it right there. And I'll just come with this rock. Lean it up on it like that and just cover it so most of the smoke's captured in there. I always want to keep an eye on the fire here. You don't want it too hot. I'll move my rock, stick my hand in towards the top. If it's feeling too hot, I'll come scrape my punk wood back here and then just pull some of this these coals out, you know, just to get a few out and it won't be so hot, you know. Try to keep it right here by the edge of the door. Some of that heat can escape out, you know. That's just how I do it. But, uh, yeah, got some good smoke coming out of that thing right there now. See all that smoke is pouring out of it. Know how good you can see that? You can see the smoke coming right out of this hide here. That's what you want. The smoke's pushing its way through the hide, so that's it. It's smoking good right now, guys. We'll click back in in a few. Let you in on something. I gotta check this fire. See a color change here on the other side of our staples. It's white on the edge right here with no smokes getting to it. In the middle of our hide. Getting a nice golden color on the outside there. We're gonna let this hang out and keep checking our fire. Alright guys, so as far as punk wood goes, I just get any kind of punk wood. I get pine and oak, sweet gum, anything, you know, anything punk wood. I even use uh Mushrooms sometimes, these things grow out of the base of trees sometimes, right by trees. That's where I find them. I don't know what they're called, but they smoke, you know. They smolder. That's what you want. And I'll use, I'll use stuff like that. So. Just anything smokable, natural. Yeah, no. Good, good punk wood there. That's what I use right there, guys. Some pine right here. Just trying to get my hide opened up, you know, get it fluffed out so that smoke can get in every little nook and cranny, so. Should be smoking soon. Got it fired back up. Had to pull some coals out. Getting too hot. Been about an hour now. I was going to flip this thing inside out and smoke it. But I think I'm just going to smoke it for two hours on this side here. And that should give it a good smoke in there. Alright y'all. So after two and a half hours. We took our hide down. We'll get these staples out and show you what we got. Got all our staples out there. Sun's about to go down. Figured I'd try to hurry up and get this last shot in here. Man, that thing smokes good right there. You can see all the lines now from where the barbed wire, I guess that's barbed wire, right on the spine of the deer. That thing turned out a nice gold color. This uh, smoking process here, at least the hide, a little bit tacky. We're going to take this and buff it over our beam we had stuck in the ground like before. Buff that over one good time right there. Pop it a few times, that's ready to go. Turned out pretty good there. I like that. There's our hide.
five guys right there in a little better light. Thing took a good smoke to it right there. It's pretty even. You can see on the edges here where we had it stapled. It left this white rim on it right there. It's all the way around it. And you, could t you know, the color is real dramatic. The color change. But uh, we're just going to buff it over our little stake here we got in the ground. Buff it out a little bit. Kind of work it over this a little while. I just go over the whole hide once or twice like this and it'll be ready then I mean it's ready right now I kind of like to buff over mine one more time after the smoking process seems like it makes it just a little bit more softer I guess from all the resins in the wood smoke get on your hide they make it kind of tacky like I said so I'll just do this a couple times Go long ways, go sideways, diagonal. So. That's it, guys. Hulk skin. Alright, guys, so there's the basics right there. I hope you learned something. Uh, got any questions or anything like that drop me a comment we'll get it figured out you know it's kind of hard to get everything on a couple little short videos you know all the information a lot of it so I'll try to do my best there for you guys uh you know, i hope you decide to tan you a hide you know it's, it's really enjoyable and the end product is is awesome so i mean once you get that end product going it's kind of addicting so i mean i hope you get out there and try it guys Appreciate y'all watching.